Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I apologize, we're a bit behind. It's been a crazy freaking year. Anyways, uh, want to wish you guys happy holidays, Libras. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing amazing. Let's get into your reading and see what spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020. Also, I want to let you guys know if you guys hear some noise in the background, I apologize. I live by the mountains and it is extremely freaking windy right now. So anyways, I'm going to be, uh, I've been shuffling your cards for a while, Libra. And the first card that popped out uh, is the Eight of Wands. I felt very pulled towards it, so we're going to keep it. Uh, let's see what spirit has for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the... Oof, they keep flying out, Libra. They're definitely trying to give you a message here. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands with the Seven of Swords. So I feel that for some of you guys... Um, the Eight of Wands speaks about communication, very quick communication. Uh, this can also represent uh, communication or wanting to hear from a specific individual. Now, with the Seven of Swords, I feel that this is you, Libra, um, wanting communication. Uh, but the Seven of Swords also indicates um, you not being completely honest. I feel that for some of you guys, you're fighting the urge or the desire to communicate with someone. Um, for some of you guys, it could be hiding your feelings, uh, hiding your feelings or intentions uh, with a specific individual that you may be dealing with for the month of December. Let's see what other cards come out. What I'm hearing uh, with the Seven of Swords here and the Eight of Wands, what they're saying is that it's almost like you guys are not being completely honest with yourselves or you're not wanting to be completely honest with someone in regards to feelings. And the Eight of Wands is, you know, they are, it is a card that is considered the arrows of love. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may have came into this connection or you may be dealing with someone that definitely has your interest. They've sparked uh, your interest. However, with the Seven of Swords, I feel that you're not really putting effort or wanting um, wanting to let them know exactly what you're feeling towards them. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, this is like being sneaky, hiding. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, hiding your intentions or emotions uh, and not wanting to communicate verbally. Uh, how you feel in regards to a situation or person that you're going to be dealing with for the month of December. Okay, so your next card here is the Hierophant. Yeah, definitely. I feel you guys are not being honest with yourselves here. <laughs> yeah, so we have the Hierophant here and the Hierophant is, could represent commitment. It could be that you feel weird or strange uh, when we're talking about relationships or some type of commitment, but I definitely see you guys looking or someone is definitely looking at you. And this could be through social media. This could be stalking. This could be them really uh, wanting to know what's going on in your life. And it could be because of because there's lack of communication. Um, the Hierophant usually indicates the need or a want for some type of like a forgiveness. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be that uh, you feel or you felt at some point in this connection or with this person that you're interested in, um, like they did something that made you question either their interest in you or their devotion to you, their loyalty to you. Now, this could be vice versa, Libra, because it is a general reading. But what they're telling me here is that you definitely have feelings for this person or you're definitely interested in them. Um, but at the same time, you are not really wanting to wear your heart on your sleeve. And it could be because you're either you feel like this person um is not the type of person that you deal with on a temporary basis. And it could be something within you that you feel like you cannot provide or you cannot give them a certain type of commitment. 
But I definitely see you guys like watching each other or looking at each other. For some of you guys, this could be a very strong connection, you guys. But I feel like ego or the feeling of being rejected is something that is weighing heavily either on your mind or on their mind. And that's the reason why they're not speaking up or they're not being completely, uh, completely honest about their their feelings or intentions or your feelings or your intentions, Libra. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a serious, committed relationship, I feel that. OK, so what they're saying here with the eight of wands and the seven of swords you may feel that you're getting to a point where you've allowed certain things to slide from your partner. This could be, um, this could even be dealing with some type of like uh, cheating in the past. Um, and I feel that you're getting to, feeling that you're getting to the point of like, you're not wanting to speak up because you feel like if you speak up, all this like resentment is going to start to spill out of you and there is a fear of losing this relationship or this partnership now for those of you guys that are single i feel that it's the same thing i feel that there is a fear of communication uh because you could be resentful towards them or they may be resentful towards you in regards to some type of action or something that they found out about you or you found out about them um this is very you know what i'm going to pull out another card for you guys just to get clarification uh spirit can you clarify for me the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here spirit why is the seven of swords here can you clarify for me the seven of swords for my libra sun moon rising and venus clarify the seven of swords okay yeah, so it's it's definitely something that <clears throat> it's a, it's definitely something that was done in the past. Um, now, if you, I'm feeling for some of you guys, especially if this is a new person that you're dealing with, the Seven of Pentacles indicates to me almost like you tried to make an effort or you tried to put effort in this connection. Uh, with the devil card here, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Taurus um, or fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or uh, Leo. But I feel that with the seven of pentacles and the devil, um, something happened in the, in the recent past where it made you question either this person's uh, character or it made you question their intentions towards you. And I feel that deep down with the Seven of Swords and the Devil, there is there's this kind of feeling of like either intimidation or fear of rejection. For some of you guys, it could even be that you feel like this person is um, like this person is. I don't know, I'm getting a sense of like you are scared that they're going to reject you um, because you feel like you're not good enough or you're not able to provide something for them. Um, if you're dealing with a person that is, that has like, that is a, a, a person that runs their own business or that is very self-independent, um, a person that has a very strong personality for some of you guys, I feel that there is like this fear that there was, you definitely felt a connection. Um, but as time progressed, you kind of question like, were they really interested in me? Was this all in my head? Um, because they could have came off detached after a while. So you're trying to figure out where this person, like, are they interested in me? Are they not? Um, do I reach out? Do I allow them to be the one to reach? Do I sit here and wait? I see you guys very much in your head. And I feel that ultimately with the Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Devil card here, I feel that there's like a fear of rejection or there is a fear of 
like I don't want to reach out because I know that this connection is strong and maybe maybe you're coming out of a relationship that perhaps you were either hurt or let down and you feel like maybe you're not emotionally ready to be able to open yourself up again or make yourself vulnerable again. There's definitely some type of defensive mechanism going on here. And I feel that you guys are, like I said, very much in your head. But I feel that this person is very much in their head as well. They're kind of wondering, like, what the hell is going on? Um, I felt this connection. And then what happened? Kind of stopped. But I definitely see you guys, like, really watching each other. So the advice for this situation is if you're connecting with this message, what they're telling you is take the initiative. Like, don't be too much in your head and let go of the fears. Because I feel that with the Hierophant here, um, they're definitely they're definitely interested in you with the Eight of Wands. Like, it was a very intense connection. Um, but I think that the fear is getting the best of both of you guys at this present time. Now, if you're dealing with the person that is from the past uh, and there was, you know, uh, certain miscommunication or misunderstandings, I feel that you guys are standing on ego. Uh, you guys are not really like want to, one or the other is not willing uh, to give in. And that's the reason why they're not watch, like reaching out. But you guys are still watching each other. So I see this going on for a bit. My advice is if you want to just nip it in the bud, like be direct. And I know this is something difficult for Libras to do, but what they're telling you is like, be confident in yourself, believe in yourself and don't sit around and wait for other people to make things happen. If this person, if you're truly interested in this person and you feel which with the Hierophant and the Seven of Pentacles and the Devil card, I feel like you see them as <clears throat> a very good like um, a person worthwhile and yeah this person could come off as a bit intimidating or they can come off as uh, they know exactly what they want but this is a good thing because this allows you to understand that it's a person that is not just going to entertain the idea of you if they are genuinely interested in you and you reach out and you continue the communication back and forth this can actually lead into something more stable. I hope that makes sense. All right. I was going to say, um, uh, this is the message that Spirit wants to give to you, and they just flew this out, and it says, fuck, shit is about to get real. <laughs> okay, in the back it says, fuck, you need your people around you. So for some of you guys, I feel that, when they're saying you need your people around you, I feel that this connection could have something to do with other people around you guys, either that they were in your head, in your ear, or other people were in that person's head or in their ear. I feel that like there, because you're starting off with the eight of wands, very quick communication, very intense, very passionate definitely feeling each other. Then the seven of swords shows up. Um, I'm going to back up and pull my energy because I'm feeling some type of way with the Hierophant. I was definitely interested in this person or this person was definitely feeling me. Um, but you pulled your energy back and I feel that that doesn't just happen. So it could have been some events or something that correlated where people around you guys were influencing you guys are got it in your heads. Um, and then that's where the miscommunication happens. So the advice to this is, uh, you know, if you are interested and you're dealing with the situation, move forward, like make an effort. Because with the Hierophant here and the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands and the Devil, they're like, it's definitely an intense connection. And I feel it's very like fiery and i feel that this person around like around them uh they have an overall good head on their shoulders i feel that they it's a very mature energy you may be dealing with an older person um or you may be uh the older one and you're dealing with a younger person but i feel that you need to let go of your fears libra 
I think that your fears are getting the best of you right now. So I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. Um, and I want to wish you guys happy holidays and we'll see each other soon. Bye.